Okay, okay, we are about ready. Sorry, I was... Sorry, Lay got distracted. Um, let me go ahead and... Okay, a couple things. That's going. Phone's going. Volume's off on monitor. Let's see. Uh, I think we're good. All right. How about we quickly start with the achievements I got yesterday? All right. So we're gonna skip past some of these. We got. The one for being chapter 17, chapter 18, and chapter 19. So three from there, progression. We scroll down. Uh, I already got that one. Use the hammer and staff to repair another weapon. I repaired a worm slayer because it was actually uh, beneficial for me to do that right away. Uh, no, I already had that. Uh, re get Martha to level 20. Promote a cavalier to paladin. Obviously, made I made sure to do this. Uh, I think I already had that one. Promote a mage to a bishop and a cleric to a bishop. We also got the ones for the secret shops in 17 and 19. Anyway. Uh, we got... Why is, why is this not going? Oh, great. I don't know why, but my controller is not uh, being recognized on. I don't know why my controller was not being recognized. Let's try that again. I, there's a chance I might have plugged it in after the fact. There we go. It's working now. All right. We are on, I think, the final chapter. Chapter 20. A book one, anyway. The final chapter of book one. <clears throat> After a fierce battle, the Allied army finally entered Deluna Castle. They had surrounded the castle and charged inside from all four gates. But separating Mart's army was Medeus's trap. The final battle, which will decide life or death, has begun. The chosen heroes destined battle. All right. Final chapter. Okay, I, I'm not a fan of this song, at least in this sound font. Or at least the intro of it. Kind of my main team. Sadly, I don't think any of these guys will be used. Actually, can we give Minerva, like... Can we give Minerva something? Can she use... What do we got? So, dragon, we got a uh, sniper. So, I remember reinforcements coming from here. Where am I starting? I'm probably. I think I'm right over here. I don't see any treasure. We got a bunch of dragons. And here's Medeus with the earth, and he's an earth dragon, and he's gonna be, oh, he's surrounded by mage dragons, no, one mage dragon, meteor, and physic, okay, and I don't think this guy's gonna move, all right, we're probably gonna need Castor's help for that, um, oh, I'll, I'll probably be considering warping, 
sadly, though, Sheeta hasn't been that great on her own. And now that she's not on her Pegasus, I, she might even be weaker now. It's hard to tell. Oh, not that it matters, but... Where's Julian? There we go. Actually, I want to check something. If I do this, let's hand it to... Tiki? Okay, she can turn into a fire dragon. I thought she was only allowed to use the divine one. But no, she could turn into a fire dragon, I guess. Okay, I have an extra worm slayer. I want to give that to... Let's get rid of the Killing Edge, and I can also give it back. Ogma, I think I want to deposit the Armor Slayer. We are going to grab... Don't I have another one somewhere? Yeah, I have a few. There we go. I have a feeling I'm going to need that. Navar. Did I get new... Did I get a new steel one? Yes. There we go. That works out. Okay. Um... I have one silver here. And I know I have a silver from Bantu. Okay. I'm thinking I'm going to trade over the silver to... Let's go with Tiki at the moment. Tiki doesn't need weapons, so she can hold on to extra stuff. Agma and Navar could use the silver. Uh, Castor. Um, you know what? Let's get rid of the steel. And let's grab... Partha. Parthia. Martha's fine. This is last chapter, so... Can we grab another fully... Fully prepared Bulgon? Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, do we have an extra Elfire? No, we don't. Anyway. Okay. Uh, Minerva's fine. Zani's here. She... She does fine, I guess. They're probably not going to be used. Kane and Abel are probably not going to be used either. Not really. Uh, bars? You know what? Let's... Give him a full silver. Or steel. A full steel. There we go. Here, let me rearrange things. There we go. That works out. You're fine, you're fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I... Yeah. Alright. We'll start with that. Let's get this started. Marth, you truly are a hero for being able to reach here. In the past, I used to hate these stupid humans. And so I cut off communication However, after seeing you, I have now realized that humans aren't a lost hope. Go forth, the de deity's chosen one, Altia, Prince of Light. 
Altea's Prince of Light, send the Shadow Dragon, Medeus, back to the Eternal Darkness once again. Looks more like it. Some sort of weird T Rex than a uh, than, than a traditional dragon, but hey, it's like a mole dragon. All right. Dark breath. How much attack? Twenty two attack. You know, I might be able to. Oh wait, 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 wait. I did not see that. I could start warping. I have three uses of warp. Oh, I didn't realize how ever how separated everyone was. Okay. This is interesting. We're all kind of separated, and we have to meet up in the middle. Where's Lena? Here. Okay. So. The thing about this guy, he has to take a turn to transform. That gives me a turn. So what I can do is not attack this guy. Um, let's see, your attack speed is nine. Yeah, if I want to not get doubled, I would need to at least make sure that iron is equipped. Well, I can equip the silver and still not get doubled. I get double with the killer. Interesting. Okay. No matter what I choose... Uh... I could start with choosing Tiki to run up and transform, but there's a Worm Slayer here, so that's not going to help me. You know what's weird? If I want to safely get through the... Wait a minute. What am I doing? If I were to attack, let's just say... Attack of 30? And I, and I can't double. Okay. Attack of 20, attack speed of 7. Wait. Attack speed of what? 17. I can double. I am able to double. 17. 34. Not enough. That is not enough. Okay. But you know what's weird? I might have to warp? This is weird. I might have to warp Castor right here so he can get rid of the hunter. Or the hero. Then the sniper will attack him. Uh, this is a weird use for warp. But I think I have to. If I want a chance to get rid of these guys. I have two more uses anyway. Strength and weapon level, okay. So, I'm gonna use the killer though. Attack speed at 12, oh. No matter what, I am not doubling. I needed to do that. And Tiki's gonna stand right here and gonna transform into a dragon. Now Tiki is safe from the Worm Slayer. And we could probably have Tiki attack from range. Alright. Dark Breath doesn't have effectiveness, but also Dark Breath has a limited use. That's weird. 
So we got Kane, we got Ogma, and we got Lind. Get rid of this guy. I need Augment as bait. needs to be bait. He can stay where he's at. Kane, you hide in the corner. Okay. You need to stay here. Okay, over here. We can't open the door, so giving, like, Marth a key wouldn't be the worst idea. Right now, Mark needs to go around. These are reinforcements, though. Oh, that, those are reinforcements. That's the annoying part. Some of these are going to be reinforcements. Okay, Bolganon, Firestone, Silvers. Sadly, Navarre is the only good one here. But I have a turn before the dragon transforms. I need to prepare for this guy. If I stand right here, we are going to equip the... I didn't swap in the armor slayer. Never mind. We are going to equip the killing edge. That is my bad. He was pro- I think he was supposed to have the... He was supposed to have the armor slayer. He's still there. Okay, down here. What to do? I think I just need to move forward. And have Marth try to... Marth or Barks? American help. Just kind of work through this. Obviously, Marth has the best chance, but we have Worm Slayers. So let's see. Let's see how this turn one goes. All of the dragons are going to transform. We're not taking. Uh, we're not seeing every transformation. That would take forever. Even the devs knew that would take a long time. Come on. Really? No crits. That is surprising. That is surprising. And Caster already needs healing. Good. Uh, Navarre probably won't probably won't be attacked by the mage just yet. That's a good sign. Ooh, dodge. Good. And we got a crit. That that helps. That helps. Another transformation. There's another one. Hmm. 
So I think I could safely have Agma go right here. Attack of 24. So we're talking 13. Attack of 28. We're talking 17. And my attack speed is 17. Man, maybe I should have stock up, stocked up on more silvers. Okay. Oh, and you have 11 sword. Okay, you got this. Perfect. Level two, strength and speed. That, that worked well. That that will work. That worked out. Okay. What's your range? You have, you're not gonna get it. And I doubt Lind is actually going to be attacked. Just in case she is. Marth and Bars need to keep moving. This is already not going well because Lena's in a spot I don't necessarily want. Okay. Castor needs healing. And we got silver. I can already see what's going to happen. If I have... I could have Tiki just run up here and get the KO. Yes. However, Tiki will then get attacked by this guy, which she'll get hit, and then she'll get the KO, but then get attacked by a silver sword... And then maybe even Thoron. I... Although, like... And then there's also this dragon. I think I just need to... Try. So... I see a death. I see a death coming. You got extra worm slayer. You need to back out. This is where Mend would actually be nice. But he healed up a pretty good amount anyway. Well, we're gonna see how well that goes. Um, up here. Navar, you are still holding off the general. Uh, no one else can really do anything. It almost wouldn't have been the worst idea to uh, Warp Castor or Tiki over there so they can help. So one of them can help out. Navar. Alright. See how this goes. doubled. That's a good sign. She's gonna get attacked by the Sniper and Thoron. Question is, though... Is that enough? Oh! 
Nope. There it is. I didn't know she'd get doubled by Thoron. I did not know she'd get doubled. Oh. oh, wait. Is this gonna be cast order? I think it is. Yep. Well, again, Tiki's the one that caused the reset. But yeah. Cast order wasn't gonna make it either. Okay. Let me rearrange this. Navar, I think we need to deposit probably the Killing Edge. And we are gonna grab uh, Armor Slay. Actually, you know what? Uh, you already have a Killing Edge on you, but you know what? I'll grab another one. Next, down, so it's the fact that these three also went up here. That did not help things. That really did not help. I can't check. And it's going to take too much time for Mark to get over there. If I want to open the door, I would need someone, whoever that person would be would be bait. Um, bait for the archer, bait for a leaven sword or a javelin, and then bait for, oh, well, Mark can, Mark can deal with this. Um, but it's not going to help that much. I do think it would be a good idea to give someone a, a door key. Okay. I still have these items. I just haven't felt the need to use them yet. I still... Ooh, what does this do? Wait, doesn't this, like, cause an earthquake and hurts everyone? Actually, uh, let's hand that to probably Sheetash. I don't think she's going to do anything. I want her to test it out. Last chapter, might as well use it. Okay. Let's try it again. currently has the door key, he could open the cell. Uh, what is your range? Already, uh, the guy with the Worm Slayer is already in range. Four defense. have the HP for it. Uh, okay. It had to be a Worm Slayer. Tiki has to be right here. You know what's annoying? There is a way for me to manipulate who ends up where. But it would take a lot of, like, take this person out of the group, 
then bring back in. You know, be kind of annoying. Um. Hmm. Okay. I can still set Navarre right here. And he can still equip the armor slot. That will help. Julian, you are not doing anything. Abel, you are not going to do anything. It's up here. This is like the worst team up here. It just had to be a Worm Slayer. I can distract this guy. I can distract him. And use Ogma. However... I wonder if it would be important to distract the Thoron guy, too. What's his attack? 19... something. So, I feel like these three are gonna head up here. And this is just a bad team right here. So, I'm kind of thinking I need to distract the bishop as well. I am gonna set Agma right here. What has the fastest attack speed? See how well it goes. Uh, Lynn, do you go here? Kane. Alright. Up here. The guy with Worm... Uh, with Worm Slayer. He's already in range. And he's the only one in range. I just realized that has an attack power of 40. That's ridiculous. Granted, depending on how fast the opponent is, killer might would probably be better. It also depends on defense. Hell, silver might be better. It really depends on that attack speed. Over here. I have Barst with the door key. I feel like it wouldn't be the worst idea to get over here. Open. He's going to get attacked, or he can get attacked by the archer, but that might work out for me. should have Zane since he has a sword. Wait, what's the base stats? 13. Maybe I should just give him a weapon. He needs to do something. It's like ditto. He copies the stats, but I think he keeps the HP. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Dragons are gonna transform. Right, these guys are not gonna be weak to... Lizard. 
Or at least that one isn't. Okay, now I got a better setup. They're going towards Agma. So now that he's there, the archer should go after Barks. Okay, this helps a lot, actually. Okay. Barks just has the stats to tank. Oh, duh. Levin Sword. out there. It's going to take a second for the dragon to get there, but 20 damage is 20 damage. I put Marth in a bad spot, because he could have attacked Barst up close. And Navarre's doing better now with the Armor Slayer. This guy's up close. Perfect. Okay, transform me into a dragon. Okay. Actually, one thing before I do, before I do anything. Oh wait, where's Sheeta? She's just down here. Okay. Yeah, cause an earthquake. Oh, it affects ev it literally affects everyone. That was probably not a good thing. You, oh, you have to fall in there if you want to heal. Okay, well, I tested it out. Can you one hit KO? 38 minus 19, that is not a one hit KO. Too bad there's no, too bad uh, that's not a healer. Over here. Oh wait, Tiki's fine. That's weird. Okay. The dragon attack. Okay, Tiki, with your attack of 26, you can get rid of the guy with the worm slayer, but not the sniper. And caster get rid of the sniper. 28 minus 11. 17. Do I double? Yes. That is... I have enough to KO. Here's what I'm gonna do. Killer. On this guy. You know, Caster, the point of using a killer weapon is to get crits. That's the entire point. You're not getting them. Alright. Tiki could go right ahead. Go here. Ice Breath. There we go. That works out. Slayer, a spare one. All right, and I want to make sure Lena's not in range of the dragon. I gotta have her heal Castor. In some ways, using the earthquake actually helped because it lowered 
their HP just enough. Right. Down here. Agma, you desperately need healing. You need to get KO'd. Silver, silver. Okay. Can Kane get the KO? With the attack of 18. Attack of 12. Yes, he can get the KO. However, there's a different problem. Uh, he would get attacked by probably both, unless I only put Augment in range. And you know what? We can make this work. So, a mistake I made during this playthrough, now I'm kind of thinking about it. Because of how the weapon level system works, I could have been giving Cain, Abel, Sheeta just stronger swords. Just to have. They could have each hold like a silver sword, probably. And that probably would make their inside fights way more useful. That's a mistake I was making like this entire run. We got the heal in. I think it will be best if Agma just stays right here. Keep the silver sword equipped. Uh, Kane needs to be protected. That does mean we have to get rid of these guys. So, if you were to attack, or let's just say... Let's use the silver. Let's just say we use the silver. And attack speed at 11. Attack at 33. 33 minus... So that's 20. It's not enough to KO. And I can't double. No matter what, I'm not able to double. I could... have Merrick... Uh... Yeah, I could have Merrick attack in range. As well. If you were to attack me, you attack me for 10. 9. Okay. Barst will survive. How come Barst took so much damage? Is it because he already, like, took some damage already? Come on, Barst. I was hoping for the crit. And then we'll have Merrick go ahead and go with probably Thunder. Yeah. Just grab the KO. I know Barst needs healing, but... No matter how you look at this, this is just kind of a bad setup. Alright, Marth, you go in. I want you to use this. No matter how you look at this, uh, I think Barst is not going to make it unless he dodges. Zane, you just need to stay there. Over here, everyone's fine. Everyone's fine where they are. Okay. guy up there is gonna show up too. Okay, 
Tiki is fine. And we got a crit. I don't know if it was needed. Level 12. Strength, skill, speed, res, and HP. Um... Yeah. Okay. Honestly, I thought he had a better chance of dodging that. Okay. I thought he would dodge that better than the Dragon's Breath, but oh well. We're fine. Let me go ahead and reset. Alright. Using the Earthquake ability is not a good idea. It really isn't. Like that, it is actually not that helpful. that it hits everyone except for Tiki for some reason. Probably because she's flying. She just kind of flew over the earthquake. Um, okay. I want to check... I have another full steel weapon. Killer. Eleven swords. Armor slayers. Armor slayers. I, yeah, I did not stock up properly. We're just going to deal with it. Alright, let's just try this again. The Earthquake helped me in some ways, but not others. So I don't think I'm just going to... I don't think I'm going to use it. Or if I am going to use it, it's not going to be now. I still think it's a good idea for Bars to go here and open the door. But I was I did not think about this guy. So I need to make sure to stay out of range of him. We'll do something like this. Because I do not want I I want the Leaven Sword guy to tr uh, to target Barst. And Barst can immediately counter. kind of the idea. And that will help get rid of another unit. Uh, far. You need to stand right here. Armor. Doing what I did last time was a good idea. Get out of the way on the first one. And so, last time, uh, I think I, I think I have Lena go ahead and get help out getting rid of one of these two. But we'll see. Who's left? I need these three to target Ogma. Try it again. Okay. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to sit through these transformations again. Well, at least it's just... At least we don't have to see the transformations of, like, the... Dragon. Oh, I didn't realize Bars was also in range of Meteor. That probably made a difference, although he might have dodged that fall, I know. Okay, Agma. Yep. We're gonna tank some damage. getting attacked. Now Bars is getting attacked again, but he gets to attack back. Oh, and dodge. We lucked out there. Okay, no, no doubling. Well, I could have dealt more damage if I had the silver. is the one that died from because he took too much damage from the earthquake and he got attacked by a javelin and maybe or maybe it would have been the dragon but now that I've actually attacked Now that I have attacked this guy, he is weaker. Bars might be able to win a KO with the silver. Twenty. Bars can get a one-hit KO if if I use the earthquake. That basically tells me that Bars would probably uh, probably would have done way better if I started with the silver. Um, no, you know what? We are not going to use the earthquake. Is this enough? Thirty-three. Like, no. Okay. Merrick. I need you to attack. Probably with thunder? Do I have anything that can... What's my best attack speed? Seven? Eight? Really? Wow. Okay. I just want him weakened. That should be enough for Barst. Granted, healing Barst would have probably been a better idea. I don't know. No, Barst is fine. Okay. So now what will probably happen is that this guy will probably attack Barst. Barst has the HP to survive now. But then the dragon will go after Marth. And Marth will survive. If he doesn't dodge immediately. Okay. That, that helps. That helps. Was Kane able to do this? 18... Minus six, twelve, no, not enough. 
you need to go ahead and go with... Hmm. What if we went with this? 22. Attack of 22 minus 6. 16. That is enough to get the KO. First of all, that's a death. Second of all, rigged. Oh. I had a plan, but it's not working. get past these first couple turns. If I wanted to rearrange, what I would do is say, because I know Zane appears where Marth is, like in the bottom corner. I could say like undo one, exit out, and make sure whoever is Mar with Marth is down here. It seems like whoever's with Marth is, uh, here? Uh, here. Here and here. Like, those are all the ones that are with Marth. If I wanted to make sure I wanted certain units with Marth, uh, I would need to make sure of that. Kane, Ogma, and Lind are to the north, uh, northwest of Mart. And in the far northwest, we got Lena, Tiki, Caster. We kind of got a diagonal thing right here for that. So far, that setup is fine. Like, the only one I would probably want to change is, like, swap out Julian with, uh, wait. So, uh, yeah, get someone that can attack from range onto Navarre's side. But I don't really have that any others that could. Unless I wanted to move Castor over to where Navarre is. Honestly, I, I think I'd rather just live with this. I think I'd rather just live with it. Honestly, the big decision... De the big decision maker would be something like moving Lena somewhere else so she could warp. Okay. Barst, make sure that the silver's equipped. We are going to use the door key. Kind of annoying that all of us are like separated right now. I forgot that was the case. I, I forgot that was the case. I think they said. I think the story said that they were like four different entrances, and the idea is that everyone just kind of split up, tried to and they split it up. Okay. You need to be right here. I probably just got very unlucky. Armor Slayer. Okay. 
transform. I'm starting to think I should probably let uh, Agma's team go first. Okay. At least we're still dodging the meteors. At least that's still happening. Ogma's getting attacked. I could put Lind there instead. That way Lind can fight back. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, we could, I could try that next time. Now for the Leaven Sword. Hey, he got hit this time. However, because I have the Silver Sword, we should do better. Or Silver Axe, I mean. Navar, get your KOs. There it is. <laughs> it was taking a bit. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and Navarro is going to get his other kill. I dealt 20 damage. Barst can just get the KO. <clears throat> I mean, he got the crit. That's helpful. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Ogma, I need you to go ahead, and we are going with the Armor Slayer. That way, we can fight the general. Uh, yeah, the general. And we got a crit. That worked out. We got a door key. Alright, I am gonna make sure Agma's healed. I probably should have had a wind. Stand in range of the Thoron. That way she can fight back. Even if it's only a minor amount of damage. Marth. Do your thing. So now something I could do. Merrick, I want you to trade with Barst, and I want Barst to have his hand axe equipped, and then we can heal him. So now if Barst gets attacked, he can fight back. We got him not fully healed, but good enough. Okay. Kane, you stay there. Navar, how is your health? 
28 minus 13. 15? Is this an NES game? No, this is a Super Nintendo game. This is the Fire Emblem 3 on Super Nintendo. Although, this is the remake of the NES one. So, uh, this is the final chapter of Book 1. What I think it might be best for Navar to go ahead and heal up. Okay. Over here. Last time I had... Yeah, I gotta make a decision. I... What is your range? Okay. No matter what, the dragon can hit Tiki. But what do I want to do? What to do? If you were to attack with, say, the killer, I can't double the hero. I can double the sniper. <clears throat> and maybe I could get the KO. This, it, oh, I almost wish I used the earthquake over here. But at this point, one, it's too late. And two, uh, it hurts me as well. Lena, if you went with Bulgan, attack of 30, attack of 27, let's say attacks with 12, and so I could heavily weaken the hero. Heavily. That's something. And that's your strongest attack. If she gets attacked by the dragon, she is not going to survive. That is a for sure thing. I could warp Tiki right here, so that way the path is blocked. And then have her attack this guy. And, well, no, that's not going to help me either. Because even if I have Castor grab the KO... That means this hero is going after Lena. Playing his retro achievements? Yes, I am. Um, I'm just getting whatever achievements I get as I play. And by the end of it, we'll see how much I get and we'll see if we want to get all of them. But yeah, uh, I can show what I have. Uh, so we got all the story ones so far for book one. All the way up through chap book one, chapter 19. Recruit Caster, Navarre, Mathis... Merrick, Wendell, Rickard, Bantu, Maria, Minerva, George, Lind, Paula, Katria, uh, Astrum, Sansum, uh, Samson, and Aaron. This one was a, uh, I had to reset a save, but I made a duplicate one because you can only choose one or the other. I recruit Zane, Tiki, Est, Lorenz. Get the silver card before the thief in chapter 10. Use a hammer and staff to repair a weapon. Equip Mark with Mercurius. Get the Gradius from Camus. Obtain Parthia. Obtain Starlight. Two arena ones right here. Uh, get Mark to level 20. Promote the Cav to Paladin. Promote the Mercenary to Hero. Promote the Pegasus Knight to Dragon Knight. Mage to Bishop. Cleric to Bishop. I could have gotten Hunter, but apparently the Hunter one didn't have this talked about right here so i missed out on it uh find the secret shop in chapters 14 17 and 19 that's what i got so far and again this is all just for book one there's still book two uh if you are curious on my uh on my account my retro achievements account here i can uh copy and paste it it is the same username, but I should just copy and paste it. Give me a minute. And right there. That's my account. All right. So, I really need to get rid of this guy. He is very important to get rid of. 
think no matter what I do, one of these two is going to live. One of them is. Okay. So... What if you... Bulgan... Attack of 30... 27. Mm, can't double. Again, no matter what I do, I'm kinda in a bad spot. You know what sucks? If I use the earthquake thing, that would have helped. It would have helped weaken them. Oh, and thanks for the. Thanks for the follow, maybe one or two. Thanks for the follow. Enjoy some of the emotes. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. What's more important? Let's... Mm, again, that's 26 damage I can deal to whoever I want to get work on getting rid of. What is your range? You know what? I think I'm looking at this wrong. Uh, okay. No matter what, someone's gonna get attacked. Because I don't think everyone can get o over there. Yeah, that's, uh... That's not good. Even if I get Castor right here, right? He's gonna get attacked. He did survive! He did survive when he got attacked by both. You know what? Okay, we're going with a slightly different route. Castor, get over here. Make sure the killer is equipped. Mostly RPGs, yeah. I do play a lot of RPGs. Okay. Now, I can have Tiki run back here. Now we're separated from the dragon. That might help for a second. Well, Ca Castor's gonna get hit. Uh, he's gonna get hit by both of them, although he was able to survive. And he will be able to weaken this guy. That might help me. That, that may just be enough. We'll see. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I play a lot of RPGs. Uh, which, you know, is kind of why I haven't finished a, I haven't completed a lot of games, because a lot of the games I have started are just really big time killers. <laughs> Sometimes multiple playthroughs are needed. That Dragon Quest 8 one took me a while to master. I had to do a second playthrough when I did that one. Skill and weapon level, okay. Okay, Caster, I really, really need you to get a crit. That would help so much. Thank you. Now you're earning your keep. Again. Now he's gonna get attacked by this guy, but that's okay. Fine with this. And Mars getting Mar okay, Mars getting attacked by the javelin. He dodged, and the dragon should go after Bars. Okay, hopefully Navar will have enough enough health to survive the dragon. He should. make it yeah uh i've died like three times but yeah you've made it juice how's it going Navar. navar's doing good okay oh i didn't realize that dragon was in range and lena did good on the dodge if i had 
Blizzard equip. That goes counter back. But if anything, I should have put Tiki there. I didn't realize that. I had to work today and you came home and played a bit of Street Fighter at the arcade before you came home. Which Street Fighter were you playing? I think you were saying you were playing like Third Strike or something, right? Okay, yeah, you're going after bars. That makes sense. By the way, uh, I won't be able to fully play that much today. Or The longest I could go is the earliest my cutoff has to be about 2.30. And the latest is about three, because I got stuff going on. But hope, but that should be enough time to beat this chapter, hopefully. So you've been playing Third Strike. Very nice. Like, I've been wanting to kind of get into more fighting games lately. But, I, one, I've been distracted with other things. Uh, okay, so 50. And, okay, it, two hits, but he'll survive. But, like, I picked up Street Fighter, what was it, Ultra Street Fighter 4 on Steam not long ago. It was very cheap. So I picked it up. It was like three bucks. Maybe closer to four. And I'm trying to play it, and I don't know if it's, like, some sort of auto button mapping onto the controller. But it just, it just wasn't feeling right. Like, I couldn't get it to work. I guess. Uh, more, yeah, visiting with family. Doing some family stuff. So that's why I gotta kind of... I can't really extend too much. Okay. Okay, okay. You never upgraded to Ultra? I see. Okay, if I go... I could deal a bunch of damage if I do this. Again, I tried. I really tried playing, but it's like, I don't, something just feels off. I couldn't figure out how to get combos going, and like, uh, there was something off with what was going on. It was like, I went into like training mode for a bit, and was trying to mess around with it, and I just know that I couldn't get out of it because there's some sort of button mapping that has gone on. And I don't know how to fix it. So I have Street Fighter 4, but it's the arcade edition. Let's Street Fighter. And Ultra has Elena. Yeah, uh... I hear Ultra Street Fighter 4 is pretty good, and that's why I picked it up. But, like, I don't know. I just... I've only tried it for, like, a few minutes, but, like, I couldn't figure out how to get things to work. I'm gonna get rid of this dragon. So it isn't just me. Especially since I use a PlayStation controller. So I have to, like, use a program to, like, auto... Uh, auto map everything to an Xbox. And, like, something just went wrong. Like, something's going wrong, you know? Alright. I need Marth to go ahead and use his Falchion. Get rid of this dragon. Now we're having a good run. Steam to configure PS4 controller? Uh, I'm not... Well, I have a separate program, and that normally uses... That normally works fine, but, like... I don't know. Like, for some reason, it's like one of the buttons just won't let me hit B or something. I don't know. Boot up Steam, think you can pick a PS4 controller, then it should work. I, I could try it. I could try it. I thought I did something like that, though, but... Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Agma could use some healing. Yeah, okay. I remember having some problems with Blaze Blue when I was playing that, but not as many problems with uh, Street Fighter 4. Granted, uh, I'm not used to Street Fighter, and I just couldn't figure out how to get combos going. You can use, yeah, Switch Pro Controller. Yeah, I hear you can use that. Okay, I 
need to heal Barst. He needs healing. I, like, with Blaze Blue, to me, it was easier to jump into because I was just... I kind of understood how the battle system worked, you know, light attack, medium attack, heavy attack. It was kind of easy for me to jump into that. Yeah, and Blaze Blue's combos are very similar to what JoJo was, so that was easy for me to understand. With Street Fighter, it just wasn't clicking, and it could have been the button, it could have been button mapping issues. But I just could not get it to work. But if I remember correctly, Street Fighter has this weird thing where it's like a six button thing, but when you have like two buttons here, it's like a tap is a light, but holding it down is a medium or something. It's weird. And there's a part of me that questioned whether or not if getting a like fight stick would change things, you know? But I'm not that invested in fighting games as of right now to really want to invest in something like that. You know what I mean? Okay, I've gotten a little bit farther. Yeah, for me, fighting games, it's more of like a casual getting... Like, more of a casual kind of getting into right now for me. But, like, a casual interest... Because I've always played, like, Melee, and I've played some, like, Naruto fighting games and stuff like that. But I was never that hardcore into fighting games. Unless it was Smash Brothers. Exactly. Yeah, it's one of those things where getting a fight stick... I don't know if that would solve my problem, or is or if it's, like... I should consider something like that if I get really into a fighting game, if that makes sense. Hell, sometimes it's not even two brand new games, since uh, a lot of the newer ones are being 70 bucks each. Especially if you're going with, like, PlayStation 5. Or if we start getting more uh, Tears of the Kingdoms. Remember that was uh that was 70. But yeah, no, I get your point, Juice. For me, it's one of those things where I almost want to see like if I knew someone that had a fight stick, I would want to like borrow it and see like how it feels. And test it out, see if like some of my problems are fixed with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I don't know anyone that uh, is that in-depth with fighting games. Pre-order three Switch games, but didn't pay full price. You know, dropped five bucks down for each. Ah, just to get, like, the basic pre-order in. Uh, which games did you... did you order? Okay. Agma, you go right ahead and get rid of us. Uh, Dragon Quest 3, very nice, Mario Luigi, and the new Zelda game. All games I want to pick up at some point. All games I want to pick up at some point. <laughs> uh, man, man, that Nintendo Direct really, like, announced some really cool stuff. I was so excited to see Mario Luigi again. Because I was, like, so, like unsure on, like, how that was gonna, if that was even gonna come back. You always tried to play Dragon Quest 3, but never got into it. Or would drop halfway, really? Uh, which version did you play? That might be a factor. You know what? Because I want to get rid of the dragon, I think I want to warp? I'm gonna warp Tiki right here. Yeah, SNES version. That's probably one I would have recommended. Uh, the 16-bit collection. 
Yeah, the the Switch versions are ports of the mobile version. But the mobile version, honestly, the mobile version of three doesn't seem doesn't look that bad. Three on Switch is not that bad. Uh, I do have my issues with the looks of one and two. I really don't like how they look. Right, let's get Barst. Go ahead and oh, user Silver. And I don't know if you uh, saw me play SNES Strategy Quest 1 and 2 when I was playing that a few months ago. And uh, after that got announced, I was talking to, you know, someone came on stream, and I think it was, Ty I think it was Tyler, uh, gave the idea of, like, I was planning on playing Dragon Quest 3 SNES and do... 100% uh, achievement run with retro achievements, kind of like what I did with Dragon Quest with 1 and 2. But now that there's the remake, almost, I didn't really want to, I wasn't really sure. But I think Ty, uh, I made a good suggestion of, we'll do the 100% run with retro achievements, and then whenever I decide to get uh, the remake, I think what we'll do is we'll just do some sort of challenge run. That way it's a little bit different, because the SNES playthrough will more or less be a normal playthrough. You want to play those two first before Dragon Quest 3? Well, remember, they announced that Dragon Quest 1 and 2 are also getting the remake. And that is cool. Because I knew about Dragon Quest 3 for a while. They, they announced that Dragon Quest 3 remake back in like 2021. I would think, Juice, that maybe you should consider... Wait, what? Why is there a door here? Should series keep beating 5 one day? Still no... Dragon Quest V is a good game. I have my own slight issues with it, at least on a first playthrough standpoint. I didn't realize doors would... Okay, Julian's got some work to do. I honestly really liked 4. My problem with 5 on a first playthrough is that it kind of... It really wants you to recruit monsters to fill out your team. But without a good idea of what monsters would be great to help you out, the monsters that at least I was getting wasn't really that useful, and it's very luck-based whether they join you, so... Oh, so the, PS, the PS2 version of 5 got a translated version? I wasn't too sure if that ever did get one. Good to know. I need to heal Caster. Also, there's the there's the PS1 version of 4, but I know really nothing about it. So, Julian needs to go this way and open the door and let them out. The music in Dragon Quest is usually pretty good. I say usually because, honestly, Dragon Quest XI's music is lacking. I think that's the best way to put it. And you know what? I think I want to plug these up. I'm going to have Zane, Sheeta. I guess we'll have Kane. And I guess I'll send Minerva over there plug up these spots. These are probably reinforcement spots. Oh yeah, and did you know Dragon Quest VIII on the PS2 uh, the Japanese version did not have orchestrated music nor did it have voice acting. When it was brought over to the States, they added both those things. I did not play the Switch version of Dragon Quest XI. I played PS4 Sadly, like, I got it, 
on, uh, oh, there's an ad play. I'll let it finish, because I know he's got to sit through that. Wait, 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 wait. Don't really want to get hit by these. not think that dragon would move. I lucked out, but I didn't think he'd move. Okay. Minerva. And we got 20 seconds. doors are shut now. That's not good. Okay, the ad should be done by now. Uh, so... Okay, I need Navar, and I guess Abel's going this way. I want to make sure I'm out of range. Yeah, no, I did not play the Switch version of Dragon Quest XI. When I got it, it was a Black Friday deal for the PS4 version. And uh, while I was playing it, like I'm in the middle of my own my playthrough of it, that's when they announced the Definitive Edition on Switch. So of course, that's when they announced it during my playthrough. I still haven't picked up a copy of the Switch version. I want to at some point, but it's still full price. It is still full price, so that's why I haven't picked it up. Don't know why, though. But, is that it? That's it. But yeah, um... Uh, I could listen to that world thing on loop for ages. And orchestrated. Yeah, orchestrated would de definitely helps. And there's the reinforcements. Uh, Dragon Quest XI's music? Oh, I didn't realize it was that low on health. Well, that's another death. I did not realize that. Okay. I was not thinking. I could have healed him. Oh, whoops. That is not what I meant to do. That's a reset. being attacked. Zane? Okay. There we go. That's what I meant to do. I'm just gonna... And there's Zane. Anyway, I'm gonna keep this going. I only have at most... Or at least I have about 50 minutes left of time before I have to call it. That's at least... But I'm... We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can out of this. And now that I know, I am also going to give Castor a, uh, a key of his own. Good thing I saved those door keys. Okay. And you still have a door key. Was there something else? Not really? I don't think so. Okay. Let's make a save. Right. Let's try this again. I did not catch that Navar was that low on health. The NS version and DS version have a little outside part in the castle on the bottom right. You can visit a shop too. 
Are you talking about in this chapter? This is as far as I could go unless there's a uh, secret shop. Okay, I'm gonna have Zane and Sheeta just head there now. Well, I want them to block these. They're not really needed otherwise. You need to go ahead and use your... Make sure the silver is equipped. Use your door key. Marth, stand out of the way. Merrick, you stand out of the way. They took it out for three. Okay. You know what? I'm going to have Navarre rush in. I think that might be best. Because this guy can't do anything. If I have Navarre rush in... The problem is this guy is going to be able to attack from range. That is a problem. But he can get rid of these two, hopefully. Okay. Over here, I think the better plan was to do something like go over here again. I think that was a better idea. With the killer. Go there. Lena, you just stand here. Tiki. And then transform. By the way, I didn't know Tiki could transform into a normal fire dragon. I thought she could only use the divine one. But, oh well, good to know. But yeah, Dragon Quest XI's music, it's like... First of all, the, the base version of... The, uh, the, the original version of Eleven did not have the orchestrated soundtrack, and it wasn't that great. But the problem I have with Eleven's soundtrack is more so that there isn't that many new songs. It has a lot of songs that are from previous Dragon Quest games. Like, it's almost like it's being... It, and also the new songs, while some of them are pretty good, they could get kind of repetitive after a while. There's an item shop on the bottom right corner of the NES. And a shop to the north. And the DS version takes out the north shop. This game has no outsides, right? Yeah, and I think that's... That's more my main problem with Eleven soundtrack. It's more, it spends a lot more time reusing music than just having new songs. And a lot, and some of the new ones are either, are either fine or uh, just, actually that's the best way to put it. Most of the new songs are at best, they're fine. But I wouldn't say like they're bad, right? Not that they're bad. It's just that I would not put Dragon Quest XI's original OST to be that great in terms of other Dragon Quest games. Right. But what I was going to make a suggestion is maybe you should play SNES 1 and 2. And then when 3 Remake comes out, play that. Luckily, Dragon Quest 1 and 2 are not that... Those games are not that long. So that won't take that much time. Uh, so then... Play Remake of 3. And then when Remake of 1 and 2 come out... If there is extra content... For 1 and 2... Like, say they add, like, new super bosses or something, or new dungeons for post-game, then that aspect will be new. That's something to think about. Are you kidding? What is this BS? It's rigged. Uh, 
That's a reset. And because I because this isn't uh, this isn't GBA, there's a good chance that that won't happen again. <laughs> also, this song is not that great. It's kind of it's really repetitive. Not a great sound font. Okay. Try it again. And sadly, there's no good way for me to uh, attack the sniper, but not get attacked by this guy. Although, I don't know why I need to get in that corner. You know what? Hold on. You know what? I already know Caster can survive. Let's just go the... Yeah, let's just let him get attacked. He needs to get right here. He's, much big, uh, he's the biggest dragon quest back. He brags that he was able to get the PlayStation using an Erdrick without having extra letters. Ah, okay. It's other stuff. Mm, I see. Who knew Erdrick was Canadian? I never knew that. Actually, I could tell I could tell you what Erdrick would be actually. <laughs> but I could tell you for a fact Erdrick is not Canadian. If you play Dragon Quest 3, you'll know. <laughs> Put the silver. What is that? Yes. Dragon Quest Three: The world is heavily based on the real world. However, Dragon Quest Three is also a prequel to One and Two. Oh, why did I didn't need Merrick to go down there? But if you took a glance at the world map of 1 and 2 it is not nowhere near close to uh to that so okay. Navar, I think we're going to try this again Yes, you'll find out. So because Dragon Quest 3 is a prequel to 1 and 2 how the remakes are handling it, they're kind of, they're treating it as going in, in timeline order. That's how they're treating it. But there is a, you could go in order of one, two, and three of how they release and get a slightly different experience. I think 11 is also kind of similar to 3's map, because they heavily reference 3, so I think 11's map is also like a distorted world map, I think. I don't remember. I know there was another game that used... Oh, duh, it was freaking Illusion of Gaia, one I just recently played. And by recently, like, what, last year? That, like, just heavily used real lo uh, the real-world locations? Yeah, that's what it was. I know there's probably another game uh, somewhere out there that uses... Uh, that's a more of a fictional fantasy setting that uses the real world as the base map. Because obviously there's games that's just like, oh no, this is like a war sim. So of course we're gonna base it on France or something. It's like, no. Like, I don't count that. But yeah. Okay, we're 
we're trying this. Caster is getting attacked, but he should survive. Come on, Caster, I need you to get a crit. No, of course you don't. Of course you don't get the crit. Okay. That is true. Yeah, Pokemon does that all the time. That is a good point. All of them actually take uh, a real place and just kind of distort the map. So, yeah. So, uh, you know, Gen 1 and Gen 2 are, like, the main island of Japan, and why did... Oh, right. He didn't dodge. He didn't dodge meteors. Dang it, Barst. Why aren't you dodging meteors? Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Kanto and Johto are based on the the main island of Japan. I forget what its name... What the, what, the na uh, what the name of the island is. And then... Hoenn is based on the southern island of Japan. And then Sinnoh is based on the northern island of Japan. I forget their names. I forget what they're called. That is my beat. Uh, and then you got Gen 5, which is Unova, which is based on, like, New York in that area. Gen 6 was... Gen 6 was based on... Uh, that was France. Gen 7 is based on Hawaii. Gen 8 is England. And Gen 9 is based on, like, Italy. So, yeah. Yeah, Gen 6 is based on France. Yeah, why do you think uh, you basically have the, I the Eiffel Tower in the central in, in the central area? Whip the silver. Let's try this again. Merrick, Marth, here. These two go to plug up some staircases. Yeah, the, the Smash Bros. 3DS stage. Yeah, exactly. The Lumio City, that was what it was called. Oh yeah, because you really needed that... Uh, you really needed that crit, Agma. Or Navar. Not Agma. Man, it feels like I'm currently playing one of the GBA Fire Emblems. You know, where the RNG is basically the same. It feels that way right now. But yeah, maybe consider playing Dragon Quest 1 and 2 SNES. And then play Remaker 3 when that comes out. And then if you feel like it, play 1 and 2 Remake when, they, when those come out. Because 1 and 2, going 1, 2, and 3 may be release order, but going 3, 1, 2 is timeline. But if you go that route, it's kind, you're kind of uh, missing out on like the reveal of what's actually going on in 3. But granted, we're talking about like a, a game that came out in like 1988 or something, so... Oh yeah, I know this game is uh, a single roll. Double roll wasn't a thing to tell the GBA stuff. I already know that much. But it's more of like the GBA games have the system where the RNG seed is the same every time you reset the... Every time you reset it. So if you do the same thing over and over again, you're just going to get the same outcome. I don't think these do that, but so far I'm uh, seeing the same thing right now. So does get, letting Ogma get attacked affect Bart's uh, chance of survival? Because maybe I won't have Lind 
do this. Series order. That's usually how I would recommend first playthroughs of like any series normally. Because it's it's the idea of you get to see how the series evolves as time goes on. And how they improve, you know? My god. Castor. Fortress of Doom is first. Fortress of Doom takes place after two. Yeah, two is a prequel. I am usually of the opinion that prequels are not meant to be played first. Because of usually how they're written. Usually prequels are written in a way where they'll still heavily reference the games that ha that supposed to take place later. As if you, the, you, the player, the reader, the viewer, already know what's supposed to happen. My best example of what I mean by prequels are not meant to be viewed first. Star Wars. Look at the prequels versus the original trilogy. You watch the original trilogy first. As a first viewing, let's just say you know nothing. You get to uh, Empire Strikes Back. There's the reveal that, you know, Vader is Luke's father. And that's supposed to be a big reveal, right? That's supposed to be a big reveal. Uh, I'm resetting for that. <laughs> I am resetting that. I am not counting that in there. Well, at least I don't think so. You could debate whether or not I should count it as a full reset. Uh, I did not mean to use the Volinary. And you know what? One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swap my silver around. Mixing up door keys with his Volinary, I know. Uh, let me go ahead and trade with just anyone else. Uh, we'll do that, and we'll do that. There we go. Then let's trade trade with Kane, and then we'll do get your iron back, get your silver back there. That saves some inputs later. Anyway, so like, Empire Strikes Back. You get the reveal that, you know, Vader's Luke's father, right? You get that reveal, and that's supposed to be a surprise. But if you watch the prequels first, that whole series is about how Anakin became Darth Vader. By the end of 3, you already know Anakin, Luke's father, is Dark Vader. So when that reveal happens in Empire Strikes Back, it's like, yeah, I already know this. Why is this a big deal? You see what I mean? That's, that's what I mean by prequels are not meant to be viewed first. Prequels to stories are meant to be viewed on a rewatch, a replay. If you are re if you're re going through a series, a series you have already experienced before, then sure, you could go chronologically. That's fine. But I usually never recommend going with a prequel first. Because it's just how they're written. They're written in a way where they expect you to have viewed the other product before. Oh yeah, Star Wars is like my best example of what I mean. I don't think I've ever seen a prequel that doesn't do anything like that. Even games that can take place thousands of year, like thousands of year difference, like with the Tales series, and have like very little connection, where you don't really need to know, they still reference things. That's be oh no. More ads. More ad bots. No, we're getting rid of that. None of that. No bots telling me to buy more bots. No thanks. 
You know what? I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Akuma get attacked. It's fine. I wonder if that will affect things. Cause I I really need bars to survive. <laughs> Is that it? Is that it? Okay. But yeah, in, in, in something like Tales of Symphonia, it takes place like a thousand years before the events of... Well, actually, even farther than that, I think, because uh, of Tales of Fantasia. And Tales of Fantasia is already a time travel thing. Which is, I believe, a hundred year difference. So yeah, I think Tales of Symphonia is like a thousand years before the events of uh, Tales of Fantasia, which was the first game. But it's so disconnected that you don't really need to know anything about Tales of Fantasia. So, like, Tales of Symphonia did the best job. However, there were still some aspects of Tales of Fantasia, of Tales of Symphonia, that still reference of this is what's gonna happen. In this is a reference of how this got there in Fantasia, mostly with the with the tree with the world tree, uh, Yggdrasil tree. But so so Symphonia did the one of the better jobs, but it still had those elements. Okay, Bars, uh, we're fine. We are doing good. So, like, that's, like, the only example of a game that's technically a prequel, where it doesn't really, uh, treat it as if you need, where it references the other ones, and even then, it still kind of does it. Every prequel game that every prequel game, movie, book that I can think of will reference the original in some form. And write it in a way where it's only there for like the people that have already experienced it to to get it. It's not written in a way that's natural. Because let's be honest here, if uh, in Star, using Star Wars as the example, if the prequels were actually written first and actually released in in order, like let's say that was actually the case, the whole Luke I I am your father would never have been a part of it. That scene would have never been there. And if it was, it wouldn't be treated as severely as it was. And that's kind of what I mean. But yeah, th uh, there's another series that was going to try something like that, most likely. Um... I, I'm, I'm assuming you know of, uh, what was it, Xenogears. Let me get the hand axe. Let me put it for him. Uh, Xenogears on the PlayStation 1 was only a single game. However, that game was supposed to be a series. And this, apparently, it was written in the way where it was like, the fifth game of a six-game timeline. Uh, apparently, Xenogears was pulling a Star Wars, where it was like the fifth, the fifth story of a se of a six-game series. And sadly, Xenogears only got the one game, and I don't think. There hasn't been anything that would continue it. Uh, I think having Navarre go all the way up there just didn't work out. Okay. Can we 
we get? Go ahead and attack. We'll attack with the Armor Slayer. Agma died? He got hit by crit. Give me a minute. Okay, I'm back. I only have about 25 minutes left to go. Yeah, Ogma died. Uh, that sucks. Man, I thought I'd get farther along here. How come I did so well on like one of those other attempts? Oh, wow. Navar was in a bad spot. I thought he would at least get another KO somewhere, but no, he wasn't. Normally, I have him stand here, but I'm gonna have him stand here. That way, he still blocks the path. He can get attacked by both generals, possibly. He should be okay. Dragon. I'm just getting hit by like all the crits. Now I still have my power up items I could use. Like I could give Castor like more luck or something to avoid crits. Same thing with Barst. Uh, speak of Barst. Head open the door. I wonder. Zane transforming wouldn't use up any RNG, would it? I don't think it would. I don't see how it would, so we're just gonna leave it there. Agma, like. So far, sending Ogma there, like, yeah, he's gonna get hit, but, like, something has been going all going wrong, you know? But, yeah. But, 
But yeah, find me a prequel that's not written that's written as if it can be a first experience. Like with King, like with Kingdom Hearts, for example, I would never recommend going first by sleep first as a if you are new to Kingdom Hearts. I would never recommend that. It has the same pro it has the same problems. It's a prequel, and it's written in a way where you're supposed to have known what has gone on in the other games. That's a, that takes place later. I would never recommend playing Birth by Sleep as a first, uh, as your first introduction to Kingdom Hearts. In terms of story, anyway. Well, at least Castor didn't get hit by a crit. And then he should survive here. Good. Barst was not hit by meteors. So he'll survive. Well, I, he should survive. Good. He didn't get hit by a crit. Okay. God, this is so off. I thought I'd probably get through this and maybe even like the first chapter of book two, but no. That is definitely not going to happen. being very easy when I played on the DS, but I think what I did was I had Lena warp Marth to the boss or something. And that's not gonna work here. Okay. I am going to start with Ogma going after this guy. Okay, good. Got that. That's good. Then we heal. And of course, you know, we're fighting all of the promoted units that just have broken weapons. Bars, go ahead and grab this. Okay. Marth, go ahead, grab your KO. spawn enemies, but, like, I thought I had a little bit more time. Sadly, no one else can fight back over there. Over here. You're at five. Here's what I'm thinking. How much damage can you do? 27, that's probably my best shot. 
Castor, get your kill. Okay. Lena, weaken. Tiki. Get the KO. Now Tiki is in range. We got a Worm Slayer, that's fine. Tiki is currently in range of this dragon. Agma's in range here. Barston and Mark are fine. Okay, over here, honestly, all I can do... This is all I could do right now. Honestly, Mar Navarre might have been better with the original plan. Because I would have gotten rid of the mage on this turn, most likely. Well, normally I get a crit. I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's it. That's all I could do. Oh, Merrick's being attacked by meteors. Oops. That's fine. Agma with the Armor Slayer has got this. Very slow. There we go. Yeah, okay, he needs to. Is this a case where Agma has currently flown too close to the sun? We'll find out. Oh! <laughs> Agma, you were so close to death. He survived one HP. A single point of HP saved his life. Tiki got a crit, that helps. Okay, level 12, strength, skill, speed, luck. HP, okay. Okay, Mark Dodge, that's fine. The dragon's going after Barks. Come on, Navarre, I could really use like a, uh, a crit, maybe? You're good at those. Thank you. Oh, I see someone wants the dog. The boom! Come here. Some you you're wanted on screen. Come here. I know. You just woke me up. Come here. You're wanted on screen. Come here. Oh. No. You come. You come. Oh. Hi. You are wanted on screen. See? Hey, this is this is what you're here for. This is what you're here for. This is why you, you, you have been requested to be on on screen now. How you feel? You're very liked. How's it going, Sydney? How's it going? So far, I've got un, a lot of unlucky deaths. Yeah. She's doing all right. She has been just kind of chilling most of the time. Come here. Come here. There we go. I'm doing okay. I can only stream for a little bit longer because of family stuff. This is probably the last attempt I can do today. I don't know how long I should keep Molly up here, but you know. She hasn't really gone on screen lately. Yeah. She's just like, what's going on? I I was sleeping. 
I was sleeping. Oh yeah, Molly's on screen. She's just kind of in the, why'd you do this? <laughs> right, Molly? Right? Attention. Yeah. Just wanted to have Molly on screen and wanted to see her. That's all good. That's why it's there. You good, Molly? Okay. <laughs> She's done. <laughs> are you done? Or, or are you still wanting attention? Yeah, I don't know what she's doing. Okay. Nah, it's all good. That's what it's there for. She hasn't been on screen in a while anyway. Alright. Uh, no one died, right? <laughs> I don't think anyone died. Uh... But yeah, I only have a... This is probably my last... This is the last attempt I know I can do today. Okay, what's Navarre at? He's fine. We can go ahead and give him the Dragon KO. Oh good, he dodged. And he gets the crit, of course. But yeah, what's going on your end, Sydney? What's going on? Yeah, Dog's just like, you woke me up for this? Oh, now she's found her bone. She's fine. Not doing much. It is what it is. Uh, okay. Minerva? I gotta... I gotta hope I could get rid of this mage. Good. Okay. And now for Abel. You gotta do it. Yeah, my hair has now grown back, more or less. I told you it would happen. Gotta do work. Strength, speed, luck, and HP. And the weather's actually cooling off, too, so it all works out. Right, Marth, go ahead and grab your Falchion to slay the dragon. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you. Con <sighs> yeah. Uh, Vars, you go right ahead and heal. Sorry, I'm just trying to speed up what I can. I only have so much time left. Uh, I haven't had the chance to read it yet. I've been focusing on... Whenever I stream, I kind of tune out other messages, um, unless something important happens. And I usually get back to that sort of thing later. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look at it later. Okay, I think I'm gonna want Merrick to head over here. Or at least I try to be busy, even though I probably fail at it. Oh, wow, I did not realize Ogma was that low on health. Tiki, you head down here. Castor will need healing. Okay. You wish you gave up streaming, Juice? Why? Just I'm too busy with work to stream. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Yeah, your stream is very inconsistent, sadly. Don't, do you still need to finish uh, Diamond to Pearl? Or Brilliant Diamond? Let's see. If Ogma were to attack, let's use the silver this time. Actually, no, we can, we can use armor. 
you're still at the Elite Four. Ouch. It was really the 1st of July? Yeah, your, your schedule's pretty inconsistent, isn't it? Attack of 29. Minus 13. Nope. I need to attack twice. I think it's in Ogma's best interest if I fully spend time healing. Yeah, uh, this is Fire Emblem Mystery of the Emblem. This is the third Fire Emblem game, and this was on the Super Nintendo. Uh, this- I'm doing the- f the first part of this game is actually a remake of the first Fire Emblem game, and that's what I'm currently on. This is a- this is the final chapter of that section of the game. And then it's- Book 2 is the actual new stuff. I have played this part of the game before, not necessarily this version, but I have played other remakes. But when we get to book two, that's actually a first playthrough. We've had a lot of resets, Sydney, because Fire Emblem loves to have per uh, Fire Emblem has permadeath. If someone dies, they are dead for good. Wait a minute. Why don't I bench Zane and get, uh, what was it, Marth's sister in here? Because she has Alm. Or whatever that staff is that revives someone from the dead. That could save some of these resets. Why didn't I think of that? Tiki. Uh, of course you can't get this. Why didn't I think of that? I could have done that. Okay, uh, Navar could use some healing, but not much could really do. Uh, you don't understand anything? Yeah, it's all, it's all understandable. Wait, Alm can only be used on the last chapter? Really? Why? I thought I could use it now. Uh, down here. Oh, uh, that would have been nice to be able to use Alm. Um, uh, what can I do? Oh, it was at that altar, that's right. can go ahead and attack. Okay. Now, how well can Marth fight this guy? I'll probably use this. 33, minus 19... Uh, not enough. Definitely not enough. 28. Okay. I think I'll let Marth just go ahead and stand here. Are you out of range? Yes, you are. Okay, Marth, you, you stay out of range. If Marth dies, that's an instant game over. If anyone else dies, that's a reset because I don't like anyone to die. Um, yeah, I'll take a look at it later, Sydney. Yeah, you have a good rest of your day. Uh, I only have so much time left. Uh, 28 minus 15, that's 13. Agma will survive, so I'll have him attack. And we get the crit. Thank you, Agma. You're making this go a lot better. Except when you get hit by crits. 
skill and luck. Alright. I have two options. Okay, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? You go over here. I'm gonna have Lena Warp Castor. Because I'm gonna have Merrick go this way for now. Because I need someone to plug this. So I'm gonna have Merrick go over here and I'm gonna warp. I'm gonna warp someone. And that'll be that'll be Kane. I'll warp Kane. Castor can move. At the moment, I'll keep Tiki right here. I might swap her out. Uh, let's see. Um, you need to heal Agma. Now we're kind of getting back to where I was before. next. That's it. Alright. Okay, you're attacking Marth as expected. Good. I... Hmm, Marth probably should have had a uh, armor slayer on him. One dragon left. Okay. Uh, Lind? Wait, do you have a... Yeah, you have a Lind Slayer. 47... Yeah, you, you'll survive. Magma's fine. Get your KO. Castor's out of here. Tiki probably will be okay. I am going to warp Kane. We're going to set him over here. And Merrick's going to the other one. For now. Eventually, I'll probably put Abel or Minerva over there. So next turn, that'll be fine. Navar. Julian. Okay. Uh, who can get rid of you? Let's weaken you with... Probably Starlight, that's my strongest move. I'm so mad that I lost Aura. So upset about that. Okay. Bars will need some healing. Marth could also use some healing. Who's left? Alright, I think everyone else is fine. Yes, now the doors are being sh uh, sealed. Okay. I need Caster to go after these guys. So I need to make sure he is healed. Exactly. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have Caster fight this guy next. And no one else can attack him, right? Sure. All 
Oh, that's plugged. Close enough. Four. Forest, you head up here. Magma, you. Man, so many people need healing. Is it just these? Yep, just them. Dragon showed up, and reinforcements from up here showed up. But, oh, these are healers. Oh, I should consider getting rid of them. And Bars just dodged a meteor, so that works out. Okay. I want Julian to go this way. At this point, I'll send Minerva that way. Probably gonna have to find a way to deal with them. You go this way. I'm gonna have you swap with Merrick. Navar, you head up here. The question is what is your range? Six. Who's gonna move first? Castor. Castor, you get rid of... Mm. You know what? Let's have them take out uh, the bottom dragon. Ooh, wait. Ooh. Come on. This is a bad spot. I almost want to wait. And get rid of some extra dragons. Okay, uh, let's heal... Barst? I think he needs it. Okay. I'm trying to speed this up. Because I only have so much time. Navar's already moved. Yeah, we can set you up here. Uh, I can only heal one other person. I'm gonna have Marth use a Bolinary. just what it's going to be. Is that the only set of reinforcements? Because so far, no others have popped up. Granted, I've plugged a lot of the spots, but you never know. Okay, Lena. You need to heal up Agma. I do have another warp. So I can do that. I have like two warps I could use. Minerva, you go over here. 
Julian, we're going this way. Open doors. Alright. Where's your range? Okay, that's good. That's good. Marth can survive. He should be able to get a KO with the Falchion. Yes. Of course he gets hit, but that's fine. That's kind of why I used the Volinary last turn. Alright. Agma. I need you to go in with your Worm Slayer. And with the crit, that helps. Got a little bit of luck. Good. So next, I want Castor right here. And Bars is uh, gonna be back up. Navar and Lind. Who's left? Tiki? No, you stay. Abel, you go over here. Alright. Meteors? Meteors. Looked out there. As expected. And we get a crit. We get the crit. Level 8. So far, no other reinforcements have shown up. We're kind of looking out there. This is your range. That's a wall. Okay. Farce, just go here for now. There's probably going to be more reinforcements somewhere else. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal Castor. Attacked. I'm dumb. I wasn't thinking. Go up here. Navar, or Agma, you go there. Marth, you go here. Who's left? Okay. Abel. And then, let's see. Minerva. I'm gonna have Julian go up here, and we could send, like, I don't, we could send someone to get rid of that, at least healer, you know. Probably Tiki, I don't know. Tiki's got plenty of uses. The reason why I had Julian send Minerva that way is because I wouldn't mind using Tiki if I can. Oh, I didn't catch that. Oh, good, I dodged. I should have voluntary just to play it safe. I lucked out there. And... Okay. Someone else would need to grab the KO. Yeah, that was lucky for Marth. Okay, only one heal out of that. Navar can go ahead and grab it. Is that enough to... Yes, that's enough. That's enough. Navar. Uh, we'll just use the uh, steel. Okay. Where's 
is your range. And I can't attack them. Alright, I need to heal someone. And that someone is Marth. We're healing Marth. it. Uh, Castor. Okay. We are using a Volinary. He'll survive a dragon. I'm gonna uh, just head here. Barst. You also head here. Lind. I think the doors are not going to spawn back up. So maybe I could have Julian go down here and replace Tiki. While Minerva gets rid of... Physic user. Alright. Right, Castor's in range. Well, it was important that I lure them out. That's all that I cared about. The real test, I guess. Castor, come on! Sadly, that's all I can do for today. That was so close. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. Honestly... I probably would have done it if I just ignored luring the dragon. I was I was fe I was trying to rush. That was my problem. Oh well. Yeah. We'll get back to this next week. Anyway, have a good day later. It's too bad I couldn't really continue, but I have stuff to do.